Good and glorious morning, everybody. Welcome back to Truth Be Told. I hope that you're excited. I pray that we start to get excited about what God has already done and what he continues to do in our life. I pray that we open our mouth today to glorify, exalt his holy name. I pray that God blesses each and every one of you today. I pray that you uh, are lifted above your circumstances, that you can see, put your GGs on today, people, your God goggles, right? Have some JJ, drink your Jesus juice. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get ready. God calls us to be ready for whatever comes our way because he is with us and he is faithful. I pray that he blesses each and every one of you today. I pray that your eyes are open to see the truth of who you are and you start to walk in your truth straight out your crown, baby, because you're the daughter or the son of a king, honey. So you better act like it today. In Jesus name, I pray. I want to talk to you about awareness. Awareness to your circumstances doesn't always lead to adjustments. Just because you're aware of a situation in your life doesn't mean you fix it. Sometimes we just get used to our condition, our, our circumstances, okay? Um, we're blind. Every single one of us has blind spots in our life. That's what they're called, blind spots. You can't see them. Just like when the horses have those blinders on. So that's what the enemy does. He puts blinders on you so that you cannot see what God is doing in your life, what God has said about you. He don't want you to see. The day that I found out, it was like a matrix moment that I found out who I was. It was a rap for Satan, honey, because I just found out who I was. I started to dig in to what God says about me, and I believed it, honey. And let me tell you something. You can't tell me something different. You can call me every name in the book, honey, but I am who God says. As I am. I'm fearfully and wonderfully made, baby. I can do all things in Christ. I'm chosen, set apart, anointed. Oh, honey, don't let, don't get me started. You need to know who you are because see, the enemy is going to continuously tell you who you're not. So it's not about who you're not. It's about who God is in your life. I pray you remember that. Okay. So in what area that is broken in your life, are you allowing, are you tolerating that you've learned to live with? What have you learned to live with? Have you learned to live with jealousy, insecurity? Uh, have you learned to live with the abuse, with the addiction? And you gotten so used to it that it just, it became, it's become part of you. It's an identity thing. See, that's the lie of the enemy. See, because God didn't create you to be bound in shackles. He sent his son to take your place so that you would be free. Free from all these lies. But unless you know the truth of who you are, you're going to continuously live in the lies of the enemy. This is, listen to me, this is, we need to reset our minds daily. In Romans 12, when it says the renewing of the mind, right, that God will transform us. We cannot be conformed to the patterns of this world. We are in it, we're not of it. So these are the things that the Bible says. And when you start to identify with those things, you start to walk different, you start to act different, you start to talk different. See, being in the presence of God changes you. So if you're not being changed, think about what you're exposing yourself to. Think about what you're thinking about. Like I would say, stop. And stop. S-T-O-P. Start thinking on purpose. Get to think on purpose. Think on things that are good and pure and holy today. And watch what happens to your insides. Ooh. You're only as good as you are inside. You only as you, you do what you believe. You speak what's in your heart. So next time you open your mouth, listen to yourself. Do you sound like Jesus? If you don't, the great news is you can start today. I love you guys. I am on a oh, worthy worship way and hallelujah parkway. Where are you at? Hallelujah.